and suggest that Max Planck's matrix, this matrix, is the conduit. Now, the idea that everything is connected is a very old idea. Even in science, in the late 1800s, there was a belief that there was an invisible web of energy that connects everything in the 1800s. And scientists were very, uh, in a very heated debate, very controversial, as to whether or not this field exists. There was a very famous experiment that was conducted to determine if the field called the, the ether field actually existed. In the year 1887, the very famous Michelson-Morley experiment was designed to tell once and for all, is the field here or no? Yes or no? The field exists? It does not exist. In my opinion, it was a good experiment. However, it was poorly interpreted. For over 100 years, our science has been based in a belief that is incorrect. It's incorrect. Now, this is very interesting. 100 years later, 1986, the United States Air Force repeated that experiment. 1986, the United States Air Force replicated the Michelson-Morley experiment. They published the results in the very prestigious journal Nature, the scientific journal Nature. What they found was this. They repeated the experiment with good equipment, much better equipment. The bottom line is that the field exists. They found that the field is actually there. This is reported in August 1986, the journal Nature, volume 322. They said, ah, the field is there. And not only is the field there, it measured precisely the way that Michelson and Morley had predicted 100 years earlier. They just didn't have the equipment to work this out. Now, why don't we know about this? This should have made the cover of every major magazine and newspaper. This should have been on CNN headline news or Sky News. But this changes everything for the scientists. Because the textbooks all say the field is not there. Entire careers are based on the field not being there. And now the field is there.